You've probably heard of Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, right? He's the one making waves with his trillion dollar city plans and his ambitious Vision 2030. But did you know how the prince likes to spend all that money? From gold studded super yachts and private jets to palaces and football clubs, these are the most stupidly expensive things Mohammed bin Salman owns. Let's get started. The Pegasus, the eighth yacht. Coming in first is the Pegasus 8 yacht. This floating palace is so lavish, it practically puts some small countries to shame. Originally known as Princess Mariana, it was purchased and renamed by California-based construction tycoon Ronald Tudor, and later underwent a bit of a makeover before landing in the hands of Mohammed bin Salman in 2015. Valued at $120 million, this yacht isn't your average weekend getaway. And sure, the annual running costs might set you back a mind-boggling $12 million, but when you're literally the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, who's counting, right? And don't even get me started on the interior design. It's like stepping into a five-star hotel, on steroids, that is. We're talking about a spa, multiple swimming pools, cinema, dance floor, barbecue, children's playroom, piano, beauty salon, gym, deck jacuzzi, heck, it probably has a mini zoo tucked away somewhere, who knows? But did you think that the crown prince would settle for just one yacht when he could have two? Let's find out. The Serene Yacht. Next up, we have the Serene Yacht, because when you're Prince Salman, you don't own just one yacht. Nah, that's for the peasants. Originally spotted sitting pretty at a dock in France, this 450-foot super yacht caught his eye, and he just had to have it for $500 million. Hey, when you've got billions to spare, why not splurge on the ultimate toy? Yeah, no big deal. So what does this ultra-lavish yacht boast? Hmm, let's see. You can find a sun deck, wet bar, pizza oven, teppanyaki grill, indoor climbing wall, children's playroom, two helicopter landing pads, fully equipped health spa, multiple swimming pools, underwater viewing room, seven decks, two helipads, and a hangar and full conference room on the Serene. I mean, even the great Bill Gates couldn't resist the charm of the Serene and rented it for a family vacation for a mere $5 million per week. And who could blame him? After all, when you're living the high life like Prince Salman, only the best will do. And when you have a yacht like the Serene, almost nothing would make it look better than displaying the world's most expensive painting in the world on it. The Salvatore Mundi painting. Picture this. It's November 2017, and New York is buzzing with anticipation as the auction for a masterpiece known as Salvatore Mundi, attributed to Leonardo da Vinci, kicks off. And who swoops in to claim this iconic piece? None other than Russian billionaire Dmitry Rybolovlev, acting as a stand-in for the Saudi Arabian prince, Mohammed bin Salman. The Qatari royals even tried to outbid them with a hefty $80 million offer, but MBS wasn't having any of it. He had Rybolovlev seal the deal for over $450 million. And so, the Salvatore Mundi becomes the most expensive artwork ever sold, shaking off the interchange from its pedestal. But here's the kicker. Since its purchase, the painting's whereabouts have become a bit of a, let's say, mystery. Some whisper that it's lounging on Prince Salman's yacht Serene, while others claim it's patiently awaiting its grand debut at the Museum and Cultural Center in Alula. But the truth? Well, that's one secret even the Mona Lisa couldn't spill. The Chateau Louis XIV Mansion now back in 2015, the Chateau Louis XIV mansion in Louveciennes, France made headlines when it was snatched up for a record-breaking $300 million by Prince Mohammed bin Salman. And when I say it comes with all the bells and whistles of the 21st century, I mean it guys. This place is so high-tech, you can control everything, from the fountains to the sound systems, with just a swipe of your iPhone. But the pièce de résistance, in my opinion, has to be the meditation room inside the castle's moat, complete with a transparent underwater chamber where Sturgeon and Koi casually swim by for the prince's amusement. Heck, there's even a statue of Louis XIV himself overlooking the sprawling 57-acre grounds. Because hey, why not? The prince wants it, the prince gets it. And when it comes to comfort, this place certainly doesn't skimp. With 10-bedroom suites, a grand reception room with a towering painted dome ceiling, exquisite decorative details, sprawling gardens, indoor and outdoor pools, fountains, a library, a private cinema, a squash court, two ballrooms, a wine cellar that can house up to 3,000 bottles, and even a nightclub you'll never want to leave. But hey, you know what else he's got a soft spot for? His extensive collection of royal palaces. Lavish palaces. First up, we have the Al Yamama Palace, the official residence of the prince. Spread across a whopping 11,500 square meters, this palace is the height of luxury. Think Italian marble floors, intricately carved ceilings and walls, and furnishings that scream opulence. But wait, 
There's more because why stop at one measly palace? Enter the Erga Palace, another gem in MBS's property portfolio. This palace is all about premium furnishings, luxurious finishes, and elegant artwork. And let's not forget the little touches that make these residences truly fit for royalty. I mean, have you heard about any other palace in the world that literally has gold-plated Kleenex dispensers and chairs that shine brighter than the crown jewels themselves? I think not. He's also the proud owner of several luxury apartments in New York City, like a penthouse at 432 Park Avenue, one of the tallest residential buildings in the world. But MBS's taste for luxury doesn't stop there. Oh no, as if owning yachts and palaces isn't enough. Prince Salman went after the next shiny thing, a football club, Newcastle United Football Club. Now I know you've probably never thought you'd hear Prince Salman's name in the same sentence as a football club, right? Well, get ready for a surprise because here it is, Newcastle United Football Club. Yep, under the Saudi Public Investment Fund, Prince Salman made the shock move of purchasing this Premier League gem for no less than $388 million. And boy, did it turn many heads, including mine. Newcastle United, once an underdog, is now flexing its financial muscles like never before, thanks to Prince Salman's deep pockets. Since 2022, the club's been buzzing with new energy, and there's no telling what's next. With more cash to splash than any other potential owner, they're eyeing even top athletes like James Tarkowski and Sergi Roberto. And with undisclosed sums flying around and big investments in footballers like Ronaldo by Saudi Arabia, the football scene just got a whole lot more interesting with Prince Salman's purchase. Who would have thought, huh? Football isn't the only entertainment scene the prince has his sights on. Turns out, he's also into gaming? Gaming industry. So according to Kotaku, the electronic gaming development company, aka EGDC, owned by none other than Saudi's crown prince Mohammed bin Salman, now holds nearly 100% of Japanese developer SNK. Yep, the same SNK that's given us our childhood games like The King of Fighters and Samurai Showdown. Now, this isn't one of those crazy spur-of-the-moment decisions that rich people are prone to like Celine Dion spending $2 million on a humidifier. Yikes. Anyway, back to our topic. The Prince isn't playing around when it comes to gaming. His company has been investing in esports and gaming giants like SNK, Activision Blizzard, and Nexon, solidifying their stake with a massive investment totaling over $430 million. That's some serious coin. And who knows, maybe we'll see him duking it out in the next King of Fighters tournament. Stranger things have happened, right? Anyway, when you have that kind of money, you don't just keep it to yourself, you know? Expensive gifts. MBS is pretty popular in the rich club for his more than generous gift giving. Just ask Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex. She actually received a pair of diamond earrings worth a whopping £500,000 for her wedding. Because you know, nothing says congratulations like a couple of sparkly rocks. Then again in 2020, Prince Mohammed bin Salman of Saudi Arabia showered Lil Wayne with expensive gifts after an airport mishap, like a $25,000 Frank Muller watch and a sleek black Lamborghini. These timepieces are the stuff of legends found in the watch collections of legends like Ronaldo and can cost anywhere from $5,500 to a cool couple of hundred thousand dollars. And the cherry on top? When the Saudi national football team scored a win over Argentina, Prince Mohammed bin Salman gifted each player a Rolls-Royce Phantom model valued at about 500,000 euros each. Ah, if only we could have such lavish gifts waiting for us every time we had an airport delay or scored a win in a football match. But MBS can't just show up in any old ride when he's in the mood for some lavish generosity. He'd need the creme de la creme of transportation to match his generous spirit. Luxury vehicles? I'm talking about his impressive fleet of cars and private jets that would make any gearhead green with envy, including myself. Starting with the meanest machine on the planet, the Bugatti Chiron, clocking in at a mind-blowing 261 miles per hour and going from 0 to 60 in just 2.4 seconds. This beast comes with a hefty $3 million price tag. But MBS isn't stopping there. He's got a lineup that includes the Lamborghini Aventador, McLaren P1, and the Rolls-Royce Phantom, each oozing with automotive excellence. Now, onto the skies. In 2018, Prince Mohammed bin Salman splurged a jaw-dropping $450 million on a customized Airbus A380, complete with a concert hall, Turkish bath, and a garage for his luxury car collection. And let's not forget his Boeing 747, because one private jet simply isn't enough when you're flying in style like the Saudi Prince. From king-size suites to cutting-edge entertainment systems, it's like flying first class on steroids. Aramco and the Neom. Coming in at number one on the list of the most expensive things owned or overseen by the Crown Prince is none other than Saudi Aramco, the state-owned oil giant. Now, when I say this company is worth a pretty penny, I mean it reached $2 trillion.
trillion dollars value in 2019. Yes, a trillion with a T, making it the most valuable and profitable company on the entire planet. And guess who's at the helm? You guessed it, our very own crown prince. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. Ever heard of the line? No? Well, it's not a new dance trend, that's for sure. It's actually a proposed 170 kilometer long city smack dab in the Neom region of Saudi Arabia. We're talking skyscrapers reaching 500 meters high, housing 9 million people, and costing a mind-boggling $1 trillion to build. And the one who gets to call the shots in this futuristic trillion dollar metropolis is of course, MBS himself. So, there you have it folks. Let us know in the comments what you think the prince will buy next, and click on those videos on your screen for more content on wealth and luxury.